What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. And yes, that includes becoming irresistibly attractive. Today, we're diving deep into 15 powerful sentences that can completely transform your social interactions and make you the most captivating person in the room. These aren't your typical pickup lines, guys. We're talking about subtle shifts in mindset and communication that can skyrocket your confidence and charisma. We're talking about the kind of attractiveness that draws people in, makes them feel comfortable, and leaves a lasting impression. Remember, becoming the best version of yourself is a journey, and these sentences are your roadmap to success. So, buckle up, get ready to take some notes, and let's unlock your full potential together. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more life-changing content. Now let's dive right into the first sentence. Sentence number one. You know what, I'm probably overthinking this, but this simple phrase is a game changer, guys. It shows that you don't take yourself too seriously, you're self-aware and you're comfortable laughing at your own quirks. Think about it. How often do you get caught up in your own head, analyzing every little interaction? We all do it. But when you can acknowledge that and even poke fun at yourself, it instantly puts others at ease. It's like saying, hey, I'm not perfect and that's okay. This kind of vulnerability is magnetic because it shows you're authentic and relatable. Plus, let's be honest, a good sense of humor goes a long way in life, whether you're building relationships or building a business empire. And speaking of humor, if you want to keep laughing and learning, why not hit that subscribe button? I mean, no pressure, but your future self might thank you or not. Who knows? Moving on to sentence number two, which is all about mastering the art of detachment. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. This, my friends, is a powerful statement that speaks volumes about your confidence and self-assuredness. Think about the times you've been overly invested in a particular outcome, whether it's a date, a job interview, or even a real estate deal. That desperation can be a major turnoff because it shows a lack of abundance mentality. When you're detached from the outcome, you're essentially saying, I'm good either way. I have options. This kind of confidence is incredibly attractive because it shows you're not needy or desperate, you're comfortable with yourself and the value you bring to the table. All right, let's talk about self-consciousness. We've all been there, right? That feeling of being hyper aware of yourself, constantly second guessing everything you do or say. It's a major turn off, and here's why. When you're too busy worrying about what others think, you lose that genuine spark. You know, that authenticity that draws people in. Think about the mentors and successful people you admire. Are they riddled with self-doubt and constantly seeking validation? No way. They're comfortable in their own skin, and that confidence is contagious. It's like they're not even trying, which is often the most attractive trait of all. And you know what? This translates directly to the world of wealth building. When you believe in yourself and your vision, you're more likely to take risks, hustle hard, and ultimately achieve those financial goals. It's about ditching the self-doubt and stepping into your power. So, how do you overcome self-consciousness? It starts with self-acceptance. Embrace your quirks, your flaws, your unique journey. The more comfortable you are with yourself, the less you'll seek validation from others. And that, my friends, is incredibly attractive. Let's talk about passion for a second. Not the romantic kind, but the kind that lights a fire within you. The kind that gets you out of bed in the morning, eager to make a difference. Now, this isn't just some feel-good mumbo-jumbo. This is about tapping into a powerful force that can propel you towards success, both personally and financially. You see, when you have a clear vision for what you want to achieve, when you're deeply passionate about your goals, it changes everything. You become less concerned with seeking approval from others because your drive comes from within. It's like an endless well of motivation that fuels your every action. And you know who else embodies this? Millionaires, entrepreneurs, those who've reached the pinnacle of financial success. They're not driven by the need to please everyone. They're driven by a burning desire to bring their vision to life. That's what sets them apart. So, what are you passionate about? What change do you want to see in the world? Find that purpose, let it ignite your soul and watch how it transforms your life. Because when you're driven by passion, you become an unstoppable force. 
All right, guys, let's get real for a second. Confidence is key, right? It's the secret sauce to attracting what you want in life, whether it's a fulfilling relationship, a dream job, or yeah, even financial freedom. But here's the catch. You can't just fake it till you make it. You need to embody confidence from the inside out. So, how do you do that? Well, it might sound a little crazy, but one of the most effective ways is through your body language. We're talking power poses, those stances that make you feel like a boss. And yes, even some good old-fashioned monkey dancing. Don't knock it till you try it. You see, when you physically embody confidence, your mind starts to follow suit. It's like tricking your brain into believing you're already there. And the best part? It doesn't have to look pretty. Just let loose, have some fun, and watch your confidence soar. Think about it. When you walk into a room feeling good, owning your space, it shows. People are drawn to that energy, that self-assuredness. It's magnetic. And that, my friends, is a game changer in all aspects of life, especially when it comes to building wealth and living the life you desire. So if you want to keep unleashing your inner monkey and become irresistibly attractive, hit that subscribe button. Or don't. But then you'll miss out on all this awesomeness. Your call. All right, guys, let's talk about the power of listening. You know, in the world of real estate, I'm not just closing deals, I'm building relationships. And you know what's more attractive than someone who won't stop talking about themselves? Someone who actually listens. It's like investing in the stock market. You don't get rich by talking. You get rich by listening to the market and making smart moves. When you truly listen to someone, you're showing them respect. You're showing them you value their thoughts and opinions. That's huge. It builds trust. And trust is the foundation of any strong relationship, whether it's personal or professional. Plus, when you listen more than you speak, you're gathering information. You're learning about the other person, their wants, their needs, their dreams. And that information, that's pure gold. It gives you an edge, helps you connect on a deeper level. And that, my friends, is irresistible. Now this next one might seem counterintuitive, but trust me on this. A little mystery goes a long way. You don't need to spill your entire life story on the first date or in the first five minutes of meeting someone new. Think about it like this. Remember when I bought that crazy Lamborghini Huracan? I didn't just roll up to the dealership flashing cash and bragging about my net worth. No, I played it cool. Let the car speak for itself. Same goes for your personality. Let people discover you gradually, layer by layer. Don't overshare. Don't feel the need to fill every silence with chatter. A little bit of mystery keeps people intrigued. It makes them want to learn more. And that, my friends, keeps you on their mind. Remember, scarcity creates value, both in business and in life. All right, let's talk about authenticity. Being genuine, being true to yourself is crucial. You don't need to morph into someone you're not just to please someone else. That's like investing in a company you know nothing about just because everyone else is doing it. Recipe for disaster. On the flip side, you don't want to be a brick wall, completely closed off and unwilling to budge. It's all about finding that sweet spot, that balance. Think of it like managing your finances. You wouldn't blow all your money on frivolous things, but you also wouldn't hoard every penny and live like a hermit. You find that middle ground, that balance between enjoying life and being responsible. Same goes for your personality. Be true to yourself, but also be open to growth, to adapting and connecting with others. Chapter 10. Instead of trying to calm yourself down, focus on calming others. Now, this one might sound counterintuitive, but trust me on this. Have you ever noticed how attractive calmness and composure can be? It's almost magnetic. Instead of getting caught up in your own nerves or anxieties, shift your focus outward. Think about how you can make the other person feel more at ease. Maybe crack a well-timed joke offer a genuine compliment, or simply listen attentively. When you radiate that calming energy, it instantly makes you more approachable and attractive. Plus, it shows a level of emotional intelligence and social awareness that's crazy valuable in any interaction, not just romantic ones. Remember, people are drawn to those who make them feel good, and who doesn't want to be around someone who brings a sense of peace and positivity to the table. Chapter 11 Ask unique questions that few ask to set yourself apart and get the other talking. Look, everyone asks the same old boring questions. What do you do? Where are you from? What's your favorite color? Boring. Instead, 
dig a little deeper, ask questions that spark genuine curiosity and make the other person think. For example, you could ask, what's something you're surprisingly good at? Or what's the most interesting thing you've learned recently? These types of questions show that you're genuinely interested in them as a person, not just trying to fill dead air. Plus, they often lead to more interesting and engaging conversations. And here's a little bonus. When you ask thoughtful questions, it makes you appear more intelligent and perceptive. It shows that you're not just focused on yourself, but also curious about the world and the people around you. Chapter 12. Soften your face and open your body language so you don't appear so intense. Listen, I get it. We're all about that hustle and grind. But sometimes that intense, go-getter energy can be a bit much, especially in social situations. Think about it. Would you rather approach someone with a relaxed, friendly demeanor? Or someone who looks like they're about to close a multi-million dollar deal? Exactly. So, consciously relax your facial muscles. Unclench your jaw, soften your gaze, and smile. It might feel weird at first, but trust me, it makes a world of difference. Also, pay attention to your body language. Keep your arms uncrossed, your posture open, and your feet pointing towards the person you're talking to. It signals that you're approachable, engaged, and interested. You know, everyone's always chasing confidence, thinking it's this magical key to attraction. But here's the thing, the harder you try to confident, the more unnatural you become. It's like trying to force a Lamborghini to be fast. It already is. The real secret to confidence, and therefore attractiveness, is surprisingly simple. Stop trying so hard and just enjoy yourself. When you're genuinely having a good time, your true personality shines through. That authenticity, that genuine joy, is magnetic. Think about it. When you see someone laughing genuinely, fully engaged in the moment, don't you feel drawn to their energy? It's infectious. So ditch the act, ditch the facade, and just relax into being yourself. You'll be surprised how much more attractive you become when you're not trying to be someone you're not. There's a big difference between being genuinely kind and using niceness as a shield to avoid ruffling feathers. We've all met that person, overly agreeable, afraid to voice an opinion, basically a human yawn. Don't be that person. Attraction thrives on a bit of playful challenge. Now, I'm not saying you should go around picking fights, but don't be afraid to engage in lighthearted debate, tease a little, or express a different viewpoint. Think about it. The most interesting conversations are rarely about agreeing with everything the other person says. Challenging someone intellectually in a respectful and playful way shows you're not just a nodding head. You have your own thoughts and opinions. This doesn't mean being rude or disrespectful. It's about finding that sweet spot between being a pushover and a jerk. Be genuine, be engaging, and most importantly, be willing to have a little fun with it. All right, let's talk about validation. Needing someone else to tell you you're good enough. Seeking validation gives away your power. You become dependent on their opinions. Waiting for approval is asking for permission to feel good. Relying on others for happiness is a disaster. Focus on bringing your own relaxed energy. Be comfortable in your own skin. Radiate naturally attractive energy. True wealth is the confidence you carry. You know, I've met a lot of successful people, real estate moguls, tech entrepreneurs, even celebrities. They're all genuinely interested in other people. They ask questions, they listen attentively, and they make you feel like you're the most interesting person in the room. When someone is genuinely interested in you, it makes you feel good, right? You smile more, you're more engaged, and you naturally become more attractive. But your interest has to be genuine. People can spot a fake from a mile away. Ask open-ended questions, listen attentively, and be present in the moment. The more genuinely interested you are in others, the more interesting you become. There you have it, Wealth Minds. 15 sentences that can help you unlock your inner charisma and become irresistibly attractive. Remember, it's not about cheesy pickup lines or superficial tricks. It's about cultivating genuine confidence, being comfortable in your own skin, and showing a genuine interest in others. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more tips on personal growth, financial freedom, and living your best life. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And as always, remember, the most attractive investment you can make is in yourself. 
I'll see you in the next video.